Okay, let's build an accounting trial balance or maybe an income statement or balance sheet. What we have here is a nice little tool to help us do that. It's essentially just a template that's built in Microsoft Excel that helps us walk through the accounting cycle step by step to help us build those trial balances and, and financial statements. It's a great tool for accounting students to use uh, to help them complete homework problems on uh, creating trial balances and so on. It's, it's a great tool to help teach the process. It really helps reinforce the, the, the accounting concepts that you're learning in class and to help walk through the accounting textbook problems. So what we're looking at here is an example problem already filled in, obviously. Um, and essentially this is uh, a, a May transactions or one month of transactions. So let's just walk through a couple of these steps. Let's start out with step one. We're going to journalize May transactions. So you can see that's been done. All the May transactions have been journalized. In this case here, the first one, they issued 7,000 shares of common stock for cash for $14,000 cash. So they debited cash for $14,000, created common stock $14,000. Step one, journalize, right? Step two, post all journal entries from step one to the general ledger T accounts they belong to. So in this case here, we had a journal entry to cash for $14,000. And you can see that we journalized it first. Now we're posting it to this general ledger T account cash. And we do that for each of the entries that were journalized during May. We make that same posting for each entry. And now at the bottom, you can see this is just simply adding up our debits and credits. Nice little formula built in here to do that for us. Um, so step one, journalize. Step two, post. Step three, we want to take these ending balances in these T accounts and build a trial balance. All right? Step one, journalize. Step two, post. Step three, trial balance. So 13,150 comes on down to our trial balance section. And this is our first trial balance where we're going to simply list all of our general ledger T accounts out to the left, left and their corresponding balance, right? So in the case here, we had $13,150 in our general ledger T account for cash. Okay, so this example obviously already filled in. We're gonna have our own accounting textbook problems we're gonna to need to complete. So if we go to this next tab over here, steps one through nine clear, essentially what we're gonna get is a blank template. Just the same that we just looked at, but in this case here, it's uh, ready for us to fill in our information. So. Say we started our accounting period with uh, issuing uh, common stock just like the, the prior problem did. So we would debit cash, right? If we receive cash for the common stock, debit cash and credit common stock, right? And in this case here, say we received $25,000 cash for that. We would make our debit to $25,000, right? Oh, well, this is nice. We have another little formula in here that's going to automatically put in the credit for us. We're just saying that debits equal credit. So in this case here, it put the credit in for $25,000. Okay, step one, journalize, right? Step two, post. So in this case here, if we got cash, $25,000, we're going to need to post that to our general ledger cash account, right? Well, in this case here, $25,000 to that account. And there we go again. It's adding up the debits and credits for our particular accounts, which is nice. We also see these uh, little pop-ups that, uh, that are appearing in different places. You just hover over these little red triangles. And it's going to just give us a little more information either about the particular cell we're working on or something else unique about the uh, trial balance or journal entries or so on. Okay, so step one, journalize. Step two, post. Step three, we're going to build that trial balance, right? So we're going to take this ending amount here in this T account and bring it down to our trial balance. In this case here, we've got our listing of accounts out to the left, and we simply put in our ending balances from those T accounts, and we'll start to build our trial balance. Pretty simple, step by step. Okay, let's go back to our example. So we get to the end of the month, we, or the end of an accounting cycle, we know that at the end of the accounting cycle, we need to do adjusting journal entries. So we've made space in the template here to do that. So we've got an uh, area to do our adjusting journal entries. We're going to list them accordingly here. Step four, adjust journalize adjusting entries. Step five then would be uh, to simply take those journal entries and post them to the T accounts they belong to. Step four, journalize adjusting entries. Step five, post adjusting entries. And similarly, when we take step six, we build our adjusted trial balance from those adjusted uh, uh, 
T accounts, general ledger T accounts, we're going to build the adjusted trial balance, simply taking those amounts from those general ledger accounts. All right, we know that once we have an adjusted trial balance, we can build financial statements from these amounts, right? So the first one we take a look at is our income statement. We'll go over to this next tab over here, and we can start building an income statement from these general ledger or from this adjusted trial balance, right? But from these numbers here. So in this case here, what we're seeing here is just a template or an outline of an income statement and retained earnings statement. And what they've asked us to do here is that for all these blue cells, we're going to delete those blue cells and just put in our own information. So you can see here we got revenue of $6,800, we got expenses, $3,000, and so on. And these numbers, again, we're just taking from that adjusted trial balance that we were previously building. We would obviously put in our own numbers here based on our new, uh, new adjusted trial balance. So we can see here, though, that we got revenue minus expenses equals net income an income statement, right? In this case here, we've got revenue of $6,800 minus all these expenses. We're going to end up with $2,660 net income. And it's nice again, a little formula built in to do the math for us. Um, we also are going to see some notes around this uh, income statement. It just gives us a little bit more information about the income statement and other key terms. So we know that uh, net income then is then used to build our retained earnings statement. It simply flows down to the retained earnings statement, added on to retained earnings. Uh, and again, we would just take the blue cells in our retained earnings statement and put in our own information. In this case here, there was no retained earnings because the company had just started. So if we had add dividends, we'll minus off those dividends from that net income, but we end up with ending retained earnings from this retained earnings statement. And we know that from studying our accounting principles courses material, uh, that ending retained earnings is used to build our balance sheet, right? And we just so happen to have a balance sheet tab, our next tab. Same situation. We got a template here that essentially lays out a balance sheet for us. And we just simply fill it in with our own information from those general ledger T accounts or from that adjusted trial balance, right? Just fill in the, the items here in these blue cells. Uh, again, a couple of key terms that are uh, loaded in here to help you understand the balance sheet. But again, a nice little template to, to, to help you build that balance sheet and, and be pretty easy, pretty straightforward for you. Okay, going back to our example, we walk through steps one through six. Um, we know that we get to the end of an accounting cycle, we have to close the book. So we've made space in here to do that. We've got our adjust our uh, journal entries here that will close out those revenue accounts. It'll close out the expense accounts. Step seven, journalized closing entries, and then you guessed it. Step eight will be to post those closing entries to the account they belong to. And finally, step nine, all the way through the cycle here, we will prepare a post-closing trial balance based on those ending balances in the, uh, in, the, in the general ledger T accounts after we've closed the books. So nice little tool to help you walk through the process. It's important to uh, do it step by step. You're going to want to download this spreadsheet, um, put your own information in it, follow it step by step. But a great tool to help learn the process as you're going through your accounting class a great way to help teach the accounting process and the accounting cycle as well. I hope this helps.